what's on my mind at any given time of day Cause I'm a renegade Never been afraid to talk about anything Anything The Equalizer is a 2014 film that I just got back from a screening for. This was directed by Antoine Fuqua, the same guy who made Training Day. Yes, Training Day. The plot of this movie is we meet Denzel Washington who plays Robert. Robert at the very beginning seems like a normal everyday guy. He gets up in the morning, he has his routines, he works at this Home Depot like job. And he seems like a genuine nice guy. You see him helping people out. Until one day, because he goes to this coffee shop like every night at like two in the morning, and he meets this girl uh, played by Chloe Moretz. She's a prostitute. And he talks to her every night, and she seems nice and stuff, but it's clear that she doesn't like what she does. She wants to get out of it. One day, you even see her with a black eye, and it, it's bad. So, Denzel Washington takes it upon himself to help her out, to take care of the pimp that beat her up. But, when that all goes awry, Denzel Washington finds out that these weren't just pimps. They were... Russian mob. So they send in this Russian assassin type guy to come in and find the person who did this and he won't stop until he finds this person. Now what I thought of The Equalizer was, I like this movie. I did. And it shouldn't be that much of a surprise to be honest because it's Denzel Washington. I can't really think of a Denzel Washington movie, especially lately, that I that I didn't like. I always like seeing him. It floors my mind at how old Denzel is now, but he can still be a badass. It's almost like he's okay with playing the older guy, but he still has to be a badass <laughs> because he is a badass here. I like how you do see that from his backstory, he has a pretty messed up backstory and the type of person that he was. They don't really reveal everything, but you get enough to know that he's been through some shit. He's done some shit. And, but now he's trying to put that all behind him. I love how he gets sort of forced or driven to the point where he feels like he has to get involved to help Chloe Moretz out. Sure, you could say it's a little bit cliche to have the pretty young prostitute who doesn't want to be in that life. And there's even a moment where she goes to his table at the coffee shop and she has a black eye. And it's almost like through her eyes, she's begging to be saved. She just doesn't say it. So, yeah, but I think Chloe Moretz, she, she plays that well, you know. She has that face where you do want to help her. You do want to see her do better for herself, so I don't blame Denzel for doing it. I guess the only problem I have about that is because I would have liked the movie better if, like it sets up, that he do hasn't done anything like this for years, and that this is the one thing that drives him to come out of, I guess, retirement and start doing this type of vigilante stuff. So I like that setup, but then throughout the film you see at least two or three other times where he sees something going on, he sees either somebody being wronged, and he takes it upon himself to fix that. And maybe that was more to have Denzel constantly doing stuff throughout the movie, but I, again, I just I think it would have made a better story if it was just this one situation that drove him to do it, because that one act gets him in a lot of shit, a lot of trouble. And don't get me wrong, Denzel, obviously his character can take care of himself. He's a badass and he's smart too. He definitely knows how to handle some of these guys. But when they bring in the Russian, maybe I shouldn't say assassin, but he's definitely a guy who takes care of problems. He's played by Martin Kasakis. And he's an actor, I swear I've seen him before playing like a bad guy in an action movie or something but when he shows up he's scary he's intimidating when he's going around and he's interrogating all these other gangs to truly find out who messed up his guys he, he beats the shit out of this one guy with his bare hands just continuously punching him 
and you sit there and you're so uncomfortable because it just it looks so brutal and harsh and then throughout it when you see that he has a similar mind as Denzel you can't wait to see these two clash the action I don't want to make it seem like this movie's non-stop action throughout the whole thing because it's not there is maybe some slow points in the film I would say maybe it's a it's a little bit too long they could have cut out a couple of things I love seeing Denzel be this brutal ruthless type guy there's one part where he kills this person and just the look on his face, the look in his eyes, just just nothing there. There's no emotion. He does not care that he's killing these people. I liked a lot of things about his character. He was definitely, for people who complain that we don't have enough black superheroes, we don't need them because Denzel is our black superhero, clearly, after this movie. My rating for The Equalizer, I'm going to give it a matinee. And I know a lot of people, especially lately, have asked me what does matinee mean or what exactly are my ratings. First of all, they're not my ratings. I got them from a movie website that used to be around. It closed a couple of years ago. And this was their ratings for movies, and I just stole it because why not? The lowest movie, like if I see a movie and I hate it, I give it a fuck you. If I see a movie and it's bad, but it just doesn't piss me off that much, I give it a some old bullshit. <laughs> if I see a movie and it's just okay, but it's really nothing special, that's a rental. If I see a movie like this, that's good, not perfect, but still good, I give it a matinee, which means you can still go to a theater at an early time for a cheap ticket price, or it could be above that and that's a full price and that's like a really awesome movie. My highest rating is just like, wow, this movie was fucking awesome. I loved it, it's my favorite of the year type deal. That's a better than sex. <laughs> Not a whole lot of movies get better than sex, but when they do get it, that's how you know they deserved it. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you have any interest in seeing The Equalizer. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Later!